In this video, I will discuss how to place an arterial line. Some indications for an intraoperative arterial line include continuous blood pressure monitoring, blood gas analysis, or checking hemoglobin or electrolytes during the case. There are many techniques and equipment options, including ultrasound guided placement, but today I will stick to palpation guided arterial line placement using a needle with a catheter and a guide wire as pictured. The most common vessel used for an arterial line is the radial artery located just proximal to the wrist. Position the patient with their forearm supine and wrist extended as shown. It may be helpful to place a rolled up towel under the wrist to help with the extension and make it easier to locate and access the radial artery. Before starting, you'll want to test the guide wire of your needle catheter guide wire unit and make sure the guide wire can advance through the needle. After prepping the site and donning sterile gloves, palpate the radial artery with a non-dominant hand. It may be helpful to begin palpating with the pads of the index and middle fingers and then roll up onto the tips of the fingers to more specifically localize the artery. After localizing the radial artery, use your dominant hand to slowly introduce the needle bevel up at a 30 to 45 degree angle relative to the skin, advancing slowly until you observe pulsatile blood return through the needle. At this point, you'll decrease the angle of the needle so that it's closer to the parallel with the skin, then advance the guide wire through the needle. Next, advance the catheter over the guide wire. You can then remove the guide wire and the needle, leaving only the catheter and the radial artery. You may have to place pressure proximal to the site to prevent a gush of blood when removing the needle and the guide wire. Finally, attach pre-flushed pressure tubing to the catheter and secure in place with adhesives. You can verify proper placement within the radial artery by looking for an arterial blood pressure waveform on your monitor. Make sure to keep the pressure transducer at the level of the heart to get accurate blood pressure readings. You're now ready to use your arterial line during your case.